So in this quick video, I'm going to show the capabilities that both teachers and students have when it comes to using PDFs. Um, and in this case, it's reading a digital text and how teachers and students can read a digital text in PDF format and then also annotate and make changes to that PDF. So as a teacher, you're going to go into Google Classroom, create an assignment. I gave this assignment a title, some explanation, a due date, a topic. I then went into my drive and attached the Odyssey that I had as PDF form. So I have the Odyssey in PDF form. I went to my drive, attached it, and I chose make a copy for each student. Once I did that, I assigned that assignment to my students, and I can go over here to this class, and now I'm a, as a student, I can click open, and I see here that I have the Odyssey in PDF format. So as a student, I can click on this to open the Odyssey. Now I can go ahead and I can read through the text of this, but that's all I can do from this view is just read this PDF. If I go up to the right-hand corner and I click these three dots and I choose to open it in a new window, this PDF, I'm going to get an additional option for viewing this PDF. And this goes with viewing uh, any PDF in your Google Drive or anywhere. If you right-click any item in your drive, which the Odyssey will be there as a student, if you right-click it, you're going to get this little menu to be able to open with. And what you want to open with is Kami. If you don't have this option, that means you have to add the Kami extension. So you would go ahead and go to Google and say Kami extension, and then go ahead and add that extension to Chrome. So when I open Kami, <coughs> It's going to open that document, which we saw here, the Odyssey, in our tool, Cami. So if it's not signing, if it doesn't sign you in automatically, um, you're going to want to click sign in. You choose your Medway Schools Google account. Obviously, it's recognizing me. And now I have that same text that I can read here, but now I have a lot of other opportunities. So I can be going down here. In the, the toolbar on the left, you see I have a lot of different items. So if I go to highlight, <clears throat> I can choose a different color of highlighter. And again, I have a stylus in my hand, so I can um, use my stylus, and you'll see that in a little bit later. But if I click here to highlight, it's highlighting in yellow. Maybe I want to highlight in red. Also, I can highlight in red. Um, we can scroll down a little bit, and I have my strike through same kind of components where I can strike through um, some of these words. Okay, underline, important comments, pieces, however you want to use underlining, same idea. I have comments, maybe I want to stick a little sticky note here. Remember this for the test. Okay, so that little note is there and I can move this around but I can always go back and click on it and see what that comment says. I can also add text. I can click on the T. I can add my own text. I can then go ahead and drag this text around by using my little arrows and dragging this anywhere I want. Changing the text color, the font size, can add my own text anywhere. With the drawing tool, it's great. I can choose drawing. I can hit the little color icon here to whatever color I want. I can then use my mouse like this. I can pull out my stylus and I can write whatever I need. I can change the size down the bottom left of different text and the opacity of some of the writing. I can make it somewhat see-through so you can see. I can make my size a little bit bigger and grab my paintbrush. I can make it a little bigger, right? I change the opacity to 50%. So you can, um, and I can then go back to my arrow key here of select text and now I can scroll through. I can take notes anywhere. Obviously that's a little too big. I'd want 100% opacity for my notes in a smaller size. Oops. Oops. So obviously all our stuff is saved. 
I would do my painting, size one, opacity, I'll do black, and now it's a little bit more like a pen where I can do whatever I need to do. I do have ability to insert shapes as well, rectangles, ellipses, and lines, change the size, color, and opacity of those, and then also an eraser that I can erase certain components. Once I've done all my annotations that I need, I then have some options to share it uh, with other people. But what I probably would want to do is go ahead and save this to my Google Drive. So I can go ahead and save to my Google Drive. I can download it, whatever the case may be. And once I save it to Google Drive, <clears throat> I can then find this document in my drive. I can go back and open it with Cami and see all, this, all the saved annotations. I can share it with my teacher. Um, anything like a regular drive file, but now it's a PDF that I can go back into my drive and open, annotate again, make changes. Lots of opportunities uh, for using PDFs when you use this particular tool, Cami.